Dr. Greg Harrison. I'd like to talk to you about what you need to know about the mega agriculture that we have in the United States and its effects on the health of animals. This was first brought to my attention as a veterinary student when our botany instructor got us involved with the book Silent Spring. Rachel Carson in that book taught us about the decimation that persistent pesticides like DDT were causing. And now we still have a lot of problems with pesticides and it's harder to prove their harm because they're not as persistent. But I think we need to first look at what is mega agriculture. And mega agriculture is the conglomerate of companies that make a lot of money off of the back of farmers. Equipment companies, chemical companies, GMO seed companies, energy suppliers, and the manufacturers of post harvest products such as pet foods, breakfast cereals, and those types of products. What's happening now is that they're mainly using bigger and bigger equipment that can run more and more acres and increasing the yield per acre. The effects of mega agriculture are showing up on the environment because first of all they have to level that land and make it flat so that they can run that huge equipment for long distances and not have to turn them around. They also use pesticides to control insects, which used to be controlled with crop rotation. And they use pesticides like herbicides to control weeds, which they used to control with cultivation. Well, the easiest thing to measure is the effect of pesticides on ducks. And there has been a 40% reduction in the duck population in the Midwest because of loss of food sources and nesting. This duck information comes because hunters really care about ducks and they've been banding and following duck populations for a long period of time. And what they found is first of all they've drained habitats to get more farmland but what happens is that magnifies these effects because the water that used to be held in those areas is now going to other areas and taking with it the chemicals off of that newly farmed land and those chemicals are killing the food source of baby ducks and that's usually in the springtime when those chemicals are used. What we see with these pesticides, not only are they harming ducks, but they're flowing down the Mississippi and they're creating a huge dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico. Much of this information is documented by Michael Pollan in his book The Omnivore's Dilemma where he states that monstrous agriculture is destroying farmland, aquifers, wells, rivers, and oceans due to runoff of nitrogen from liquid ammonia, insecticides, herbicides like glyphosate and atrazine, and fungicides. Many of these pesticides are increasing in their use because of GMOs. GMOs are genetically modified crops that are resistant to certain pesticides. For example, GMO Roundup Ready corn used to be killed by Roundup, but now by inserting certain genes into corn, the corn is resistant to glyphosate. But the weeds aren't resistant, although they are getting resistant, increasing the need for more and more glyphosate use all the time. And this is the dilemma. In the United States, we have to prove harm for chemicals, which much more logical in Europe, they have to prove safety. But we're getting some information now, like on glyphosate, from Dr. Don Huber, University of Purdue, where he's showing crops raised on soil that's constantly had glyphosate added to it, produces crops deficient in manganese. Manganese deficient crops fed to animals produce manganese deficient animals, which are now showing spontaneous abortion, lack of fertility, and immune suppression. The answer to this is certified organic. If it's not on the label, it's not certified. So the USDA organic seal needs to be there, and that means that the USDA rules carried out by third parties to inspect the organic chain supply have been implemented. Next, you want to purchase organic foods. Use your dollars to encourage the organic industry to grow and help protect our environment. One of the things is to stop feeding wild bird seeds raised in this area that's decimating the baby ducks. So buy organic wild bird seeds. Encourage things like the organic use on golf courses, the Audubon certified golf course. Get proper organic materials used on lawns, around schools, parks, and water storage and government properties. 
purchase sugar that's organic because they use owls to control rodents rather than poisons and they use rice to control insects. When you purchase organic foods be sure and read the label. And in the President's panel he says that we have enough information now to show that there is a link between cancer and endocrine diseases and these various uh, pesticides and we can't wait any longer to prove all the harm but we know they're not safe. We're posting a link here so you can get to the President's panel on cancer prevention and if you're interested in this subject in, in depth we have an hour-long video on this that's also available. Thank you for your time.